is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to Eddie in Boca Raton. Hey, Eddie, what's going on? Hey, Tom, how are you, man? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Good, good. It is a treasure to have TFNN every hour during the trading day to be there to help you, to guide you, and even to give you some peace of mind or like that, that somebody else is there with you while you're, while you're trading this crazy market, either well, up or down. Well, listen, we appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here because we wouldn't be out here, folks, if we didn't have all you guys, gals, tigers and tigresses as clients. And, you know, the market teaches you every single day, man. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night and a great week, folks. Create new agreements based on respect and love. Take the responsibility to make new agreements with those you love. If an agreement doesn't work, change the agreement and create a new one. And use your imagination to explore all the possibilities. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials right now at 403, NASDAQ up 194, SP's up 47, gold contract down 540, trading at 1756 an ounce. We have silver up 7 cents, $22.61 an ounce, late sweet crude up a buck. $78.48 a barrel, notes and bonds. The 10-year note, down 10 ticks, trading 131.12. The 30-year off a full point, plus two ticks at 158.13. And King Dollar, King Dollar's down 51 ticks, trading 94.215. Euro out here at 115. The yen is at 111. And the British pound's at 136 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. This is going to be a nice close, folks, okay? We'll see where this baby goes. We'll tell us where we will probably go tomorrow morning. And we're going to start with the SPY. So what the SPY has done is this, folks, okay? We had a big gap up this morning, so they, they pushed the futures up overnight. Nice move. You get a huge contraction of volume. You know, yesterday, you know, you, you basically went up with uh, 313 Million shares, and you have 53 million. So check that out. Now watch what, what happened. We got over the high that was generated uh, on the down day of the uh, 28th of October, of no, uh, September, rather. And that price you want to watch coming into the close is $440.04. Right now we're underneath it. And if we close underneath it there, what that's going to set up is a failure on price and a failure on volume. You get over the high, you close underneath it, you're already in a downtrend. And you have a monster contraction of volume. That's in your SPY. NDX 100, the three Qs. Now, this is what is going on in the three Qs also, which is pretty cool. It's, it, the, the Qs are showing just how weak it is. So the SPY got over the trading day of the 28th. The Qs didn't even get close to it. <laughs> the, 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 the high of the, the 28th is 370, and the Qs made it to 365.69. Now, the benchmark on the Qs is going to be 363.37. The reason for that is that, guess what? When you just go over any, any trading vehicle, any trading bar, rather, you close underneath it, particularly on, you know, with a huge contraction, which we have, that would be a failure. Right now, you're at 364.09. We've done 30 million shares versus 58 million. So we'll probably do about 40, 45 million shares. We'll see if that, if that in fact, gets harmony, meaning that closes underneath the 367, 363, 37. The SPY closes under 440.04. That'll be saying that whatever jobs number comes out this morning, market will go south. Gold. Gold contract out here. Sideways move out here today. You got light volume inside the gold market. Um, 1.3 million contracts traded out here. Um, not, much, not much happening there. That being said, 
XAUHUI. They've, they've been buying these golds for the past five or six days, folks. Uh, they're, they're off the bottom. You had the XAU as well as the HUI. Uh, in both cases, they both broke the downtrend today. Uh, you can see it quite clearly. The XAU, you're up a buck 84, and you can make the case that now it wants to render 146, and you're at 123. We go take a look at the gold bugs index, the HUI, same type of setup in the HUI. HUI right now is up a buck 86. And on the HUI, I, I would I'd like to see a, a bigger bar, that's for sure. Well, actually, I might have broken it yesterday, too. Let me look at this thing again. Okay, so get this baby up. Let's put, yeah, I want to put this volume underneath it, too. Okay, cool. So, and the gold bugs index, yeah, it's cool. Actually, we broke it yesterday. That's good. The gold bugs index here, 239. It's saying, hey, man, uh, 281 is game. That's how this baby's shaking out. Notes and bonds. We take a look at the note and bond market. What you have in the note and bond market is that you're down but you're down with tremendously lighter volume. That's telling me also that we're going to have a problem tomorrow with the uh, jobs number. Because if, if, if we have a problem with the jobs number, market sells off, you'll see note and bonds go higher once again. We're coming to the lower end of the consolidation uh, after you know, the note and bond market went down in the last two weeks. That number is the 13107. We've hit 131.12. Now, the last time we were down, there were 2.4 million contracts. We're only at 1.2. You can see that the, the contraction of volume is absolutely huge. We go, that's in the 10-year. We go take a look at the 30-year. 30-year right now, you are testing the lows of yesterday. The 30-year has 300,000 contracts. And yesterday we did 480. It got under the low where we had 572. Now that's going to be interesting watching this baby shake out. 158.23. Low of yesterday's 158.06. You're in a lower range now on the 30, though. This is going to be interesting. Let me go pull up the TLT. Okay, so the TLT is the 20-year plus. And what the 20-year plus means specifically, folks, is that you have bonds that most of them are 30-year bonds, and they have 20-year left on them. Uh, okay, so the TLT is breaking low with tremendously lighter volume. Yeah, we're going up, man. So you, you don't have any sellers here. You, you, you gap lower at 172. You're at 142.67. This can get into 141.64. That's where the strength is. But guess what? When you don't, when you don't have sellers, and, and in fact, look at this, man. Oh, this is interesting. So when we went topside on Monday and two, uh, Friday and Monday, you had volume behind that move on the way up. Yeah, this, is, this, this can pull back to strength, but I suspect we're still going to go higher. 141.64 would be the number there. If we go take a look at the 10-year, the 10-year right now is yielding 1.57. We go take a look at some of the higher volume equities in this market out here. What we have, you have Ford, uh, Ford's getting a bid. That's up 81 cents. We advanced micro up by 318. Uh, Freeport Mac Moran's up 274. We get uh, General Motors, look at that, up 258. Uh, Nvidia up 480. Stay right there, folks, come right back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. 
Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE and you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now up 424. We get the NASDAQ up 199. S&Ps are up 49. We go take a look at uh, inside the Dow Industrials, the strength versus the weakness inside the Dow Industrials out here. You only have two stocks, uh, three stocks that are uh, basically flat or down a little. Uh, putting strength into it, United Health positive 77 points, Home Depot 51, Visa 27, Caterpillar 27. Take it away from it. Um, Verizon minus three points. Amgen minus two and IBM minus one. So uh, what's intriguing here, you know, it's spread right across uh, a lot of these equities, but they're not throwing a lot of points into them. For, for something like this, you get a lot that have thrown in seven, eight, nine. Let's go take a look at Microsoft and see where this Microsoft is going. Microsoft, I mean, for you talk about a, a high volatile stock, which is really unusual, uh, you know, for a Microsoft. Uh, this baby here, you know, three weeks ago, it was trading 305. Three days ago, it was trading 280. Uh, what you have here, this is, this is the same type of setup, man, as the market. Uh, now, now, this is what's cool on Microsoft. This is what I really like on Microsoft, actually. So when, when you're looking at the Qs, you know, when I bring up a couple numbers, the, the Qs haven't been able to even get close to a larger retracement. Microsoft has. Microsoft goes, like when you're just doing a, technical setup. Microsoft is kind of right at uh, ICE right now. So ICE is basically set up, you know, somewhere about 297. We hit 296.64 today. Uh, you got over, let's see, that's 296.47. Oh. oh, this is good. Okay, so you got 23 million shares. We're tailing with 14 million. This could, this could be a little canary in, in the coal mine here. Um, you know, you come down with volume, you're going up with light volume. This is saying it's going to go right back downtown. Now, the difference with Microsoft, I'd say, than in the market is that Microsoft looks to me like you just, you get a, well, you get a consolidation going. And the, and the, the bottom of the consolidation right now is only this 281. We'll see uh, when we come down, if in fact we come down and test that area. Let's go take a look at the big dog, Amazon. Amazon has been in a correction. Uh, Amazon right now is up 51 bucks. Um, same setup though, man. You know, you get uh, three days ago we came down with 4.5 million. You're up at 1.8. This is not done yet. You know, this is going to be a good buy, man. But it doesn't look to me like this is done yet. Uh, we take it. We put this on a weekly, and what you're going to have on a weekly? Mm, we closed out here. This is interesting, man. Because if we closed out here, 
we'd have a up week next week in Microsoft. I mean, on uh, Amazon, because what you're actually done, you're going to have lighter volume. You're going into the top. What was the top? 3163. And we went to 3176. Yeah, I might take us. We're still going to get to the bottom of it. But uh, the way that Google is, like if we closed right here a little bit higher, that would be saying it could go higher next week. Apple. We go take a look at Apple up here. See what we got with Apple. Apple also came off the highs. Came off the highs pretty quick, actually. Um, ooh, Apple's in trouble, man. Apple's in trouble. So we're down off the highs of uh, 157. You're at 143. You get a high volume low at 120, 138. Put this on a weekly. Yeah. See, the weeklies don't look bad right now because of uh, yesterday and today, actually. Same, it's kind of the same setup. You know, it doesn't look bad. What we do have with Apple, though, is you have volume off the high. When you get volume off the high, most times you're going to have a larger correction. Netflix, we take a look at Netflix out here. Uh, Netflix right now made another high out here today. This is pretty wild, man. Um, put this on a monthly. Yep. Yeah. You get a higher high, man. You know, you know what's amazing, too, when you actually think about it, is that, you know, Netflix was the first one out there. You started from just renting CDs, throwing them, uh, I think, like, actually, tapes at the beginning of CDs. Uh, uh, you know, you end up basically putting them back in the mail, start streaming before anyone else. Everyone's trying to catch up with them, and, you know, they're, they're way ahead of everyone. That's the real bottom line. There's way ahead, too. Like in a huge way, not in a small way. We go take a look at uh, Mosaic, M-O-S. So the, you know, we've already had, so oil has been on a tear. Now what you have is that these producers of nitrates, okay, uh, bottom line, Mosaic is at a, all, well, at a high for the year today. Uh, they're coming out with numbers on the 1st of November. If we take a look at uh, numbers that they're looking for out here, they're going to be looking to do, look at this number, man. The, the one thing about, you know, fertilizer stocks in general, folks, which, you know, the last time, this goes all the way back to 2011, actually. That was the last big run that they had. And what happens with fertilizer and phosphates, they, could go, they go up on price so quick, it's unbelievable. You can see it right through the numbers. Last quarter, they did $2.8 billion. They're looking to do $3.9 billion this quarter. So they're up their prices and they're going to do another extra billion now some of that's planting um but a lot of that also is just guess what they're looking for more money right across the board from the farming community that's kind of how this shakes out and if we put this on a weekly okay let's see how far i gotta go i'm gonna put it on a monthly actually okay so you're off the lows yeah look at that 2000 oh those two oh my god it was 2008 was 2011? Yeah, 2011, you hit a high of 89. 2008, you had a high of uh, 158. Now, oh, this will be interesting this week. Let's see if we get an ABC structure on the way up. Okay, so check this out. Okay, we need 130, 120, we need 120 million. That'd be right. That seems like a lot. Oh, yeah, 120 million is the number. We're never going to do 120 million. What the heck happened up there? 120 million was going to 82 and couldn't break it. Man, the last time we were up here, we just had quite a seller. Bottom line is that uh, you've only done 120. We've only done 32 million. Well, 38.23. We're over 38.23, so that's saying your next leg... It's going to get you up to this, uh, God, 46 to 50. That's how that seems to be setting up. And you're going to, you'll get some flack at the, oh, I see. Yeah. It, hey, listen, man. If this thing can d dig into uh, the 40 $44 level, there's going to be some big action on this, man. Because this has been basing out for a long period of time. Let's put this, I'm going to put this back on a weekly, I mean a daily, it's on a year. I want to see how this is set up. Okay, so it's been going up straight up for the last three weeks. Yeah. There's, uh, there's some action there. There's no doubt about it. 
Nucor, we go and take, take a look at the steel business out here. Uh, Nucor right now, uh, see that didn't hold price. Interesting. So I got a pop up this morning, $100.82 and couldn't hold price. Yeah, this still one. This is still in a consolidation. The bottom of the consolidation is this uh, 92 area. Right now you're at 98. Let's go look at uh, John Deere. And the low for the year is uh, 221. The high is 400. They're coming out with the numbers uh, November 24th. That's going to be gobble, gobble, gobble. Turkey day, baby. <laughs> and let's see what we got here. Okay, stay right there. We're gonna come right back. You got uh, this is oh, this is kind of interesting. This is real interesting, actually. It's going to the lower end, a lot lighter volume, and you got action top side. Come right back. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den trading room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors tfnn is excited about our new software charting program the art of timing the trade charts in collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now at 392. You get the Nasdaq up 188. S&Ps are up 45. Let's get over to the oil contract. I just got to, you know, when we talk about price and volume, which I talk about all the time, you know, this is a great example of when you take a look at it, exactly what can happen. So oil out here today had a low of $74.96. And you can see quite clearly here that you came down to its strength. The strength was that monster up day. Uh, you did 583,000 contracts, okay? We went from 73 to $76. And what you're gonna see there is that, the bottom line is that we got down to 74.96 today. Now. As we go down there, folks, okay, the bottom line is you had a wicked rejection. I mean, it just rejected lower price like in a heartbeat. Goes 
topside, okay, in, in a monster way. And more than likely, you get another ABC structure on the way up. This is what's going to be a mind blower, this. And if it isn't ABC up, you're going to be 70, almost 10 bucks. So that's going to be 84 bucks. So that's going to get interesting. Let's go back to deer. Sorry about that, man. So deer, if we take a look at deer, we'll take a look at deer right before the break. I like the setup. I really like the setup. So let me put this on a two-year weekly first. So you can see on a weekly what you have is this. You're, you've, you've been consolidating, but you're consolidating at highs. This is a high-end consolidation. You have, let me see this here. Mm, look at that. Okay, so this, this two, let me do the bearish part of this first, right? So the bearish part of this is that we made a high out here. First high, well, not the first high, but uh, the high on the uh, 14th of May. You did 400, you did 7.4 million shares. Then watch this. See how you come off that high with 12 million? You did 7 million, come off the high with 12. Then you make a low with 13. You go back top side again, you test the 12 with 8, and then you come off that with 14. It's dangerous. What we've done now, though, is that on a weekly basis, we're going to end up doing one more day. We get 5 million, so we'll probably do 6.5 million, and you get a rejection of 13. You know, so what you have here, I mean, it's a good setup. It's a good setup for a trade to go to the top of the range again. You know, because the top of the range, you know, base, yeah, it's 30, 30 bucks more, man. You're up 634 today, it's 30 bucks more. Let me pull up Caterpillar, because Caterpillar is probably looking the same way. We take a look at Caterpillar. Yeah, it is. Let me put this on a two year weekly. Okay, so Caterpillar. Oh, man, these are some classics. Caterpillar came down. Yeah, these want higher price, man. Okay, so Caterpillar came down with strength. 23 million was the strength. You did 17. You did 24. The first time you did 24, and we're testing 24, and we'll have 12, we have 12 million right now, so we have 14. So watch. 14 millions testing the 24 from two weeks ago. You're going into 24, which is the strength. That's saying the Caterpillar actually wants to bounce also to 270 or something. And right now, is that 270? 220, 220, and you're at 195. Caterpillar is going to be coming out with their numbers, revenue. Oh, they're coming out with their numbers October 28th. They're going to be looking to do 12.1 billion and, and bring 225 to the bottom line, and they're paying a 2.2 percent dividend. Um, it's a decent setup, man. They're they're both uh, decent setups, no doubt about that. So let's go over and take a look at the uh, GDX. The GDX, no doubt, needs volume. Uh, you get, we had volume in the GDX yesterday, though, and the GDX has broken its downtrend. So what you have with the GDX, right now you're trading $30.47, and this baby, you know, bottom line, saying, you know, wants to get back up to this uh, 35, to 35 bucks, 35.02, that's your swing point. And, you know, we had some good volume yesterday. They did 28 million, 28 million yesterday. Today, you're basically dying on the vine. But, you know, you, you, you broke. When, this is what you want to see. When you're breaking trend lines, you want to see that wide price spread accelerated volume. And that's what we did get on the GDX, and that's what we got out here yesterday. Some of the individual stocks, we take a look at AEM. AEM, you know, is buying Kirkland Lake, uh, bottom line. AEM's office lows also, that low there out there at AEM is at uh, $49.20, you're at 53. Um, these next couple stocks that I actually own, just so you understand, and this is, this is really intriguing to me, and, and if you're in the gold report, we own this also. So, pictures, Anglo Gold, folks, okay, this is an equity that got totally smoked. Uh, I mean, a lot of the gold stocks got smoked, but this really got smoked. This was one of the weakest stocks, and what happened is that they didn't have a CEO, and the, well, that is one of the things that happened. They, they had a lot of different problems, but the bottom line, they didn't have a CEO for over a year. Uh, they got a new CEO that started uh, September 1st, and this CEO was the CEO, I believe, of uh, Valley, okay? So he's really experienced, and 
what, I, what I've seen here is this, okay? So, so picture this. In a few weeks, we've gone from 1457 to 1763. Um, there's, there's funds buying this, man. I mean, I check every morning to see if, if they're registered yet, meaning because you have to own five, more than 5%, and that hasn't come up yet. Um, and every day, let me just check it right now. I checked, I checked this morning. It wasn't yet. Seven thirty, but the, you, you can see the aspect. This this equity actually start moving before even the GDX or anything else. So we'll see where that's going to basically shake out. I suspect the move's going to we're going to get it to twenty dollars eighty one cents. We'll see how that shakes out. And then the gold fields. Okay, what you have with gold fields, same type of setup. Then, um, you know, these are basically stronger than a lot of the gold equities. You know, we just had with gold fields. You know, last two weeks we went from 775 up to 861. You got a little juice inside it. Uh, and Goldfield's case is that it needs about it needs about another 30 cents to get in the higher range. The higher range would be 899. That's how that baby's set up. Now let's go take a look at a few of the streamers. Royal Gold, okay, at one point used to be one of the strongest gold stocks, and that they just can't move, man. And this is. When you look at a royal gold, when I look at a royal gold, that's where it's all, it's like, okay, man, is the gold contract going to get slammed again? Because when you look at the streamers, folks, okay, most times the streamers, where the streamers, the, if the gold contract is going to continue higher, the stream is normally strong. Now, royal gold's not. Now let's go take a look at Franco Nevada. Now, Franco Nevada bottom of FNC, no, FNV, FNV. Franco, Nevada, that's trading. That came off the lows last two days. And we just did break the downtrend, thank God. This, we needed this, man, <laughs> in spades, too. Yeah, this broke it nice. Okay, so Franco, Nevada's trading 133. That thing wants to run to 148. I put this on a weekly. Yeah, see, on a weekly, this is a nice setup. So Frank and Nevada is still in good shape. You know, that, that's, that's saying that the gold contract wants to go higher. Royal Gold, don't know what's wrong with it, but I wouldn't be touching it right now. You know, because the bottom line is that that's not set up right, man. That, that shouldn't be uh, still in a negative when we're catching bids inside of the gold market. Dow Industrials up 385, NASDAQ up 189, S&P's up 44. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? 
Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. And let's go take a look at this GDX again. Uh, and I want to thank uh, one of the targets in the uh, den there for reminding me of this. Because what he was talking about is that the day that, uh, you know, the uh, Fidelity gets into uh, Newmont and Gold, G-O-L-D, Barrick, that's when the GDX will go. And, and he's absolutely right, man, because watch this. I, this is, so the GDX, you can see the weighting structure here. Newmont is 14%, Barrick is 10 so you get 24, 25%, 25 25.1% uh, of the GDX. Now, let's go. I just went to, uh, I just checked Barrick. I mean, just checked Newmont, and Fidelity's not buying Newmont. They did, okay? They did uh, a while ago, but we're talking about, oh, but guess what? Oh, baby, here we go. Baseball, thanks, brother. So look at this, man. Okay. October 6th, yesterday. Here we go. 6.2 million shares. They own 79 million right now. There it is. That's what you need. Okay, let me see. Ten. If you're watching Tiger TV, folks, okay, what you have to watch the right-hand side. You're going to see the right-hand side gives you the date. That's yesterday's date. So they had a file. They bought an additional 6.2 million, and that's what we do need. That's, that, that's the bottom line. Now, if I go to... Okay, so now that's the buys. Now let's go into the sells. Oh, this, those are the buys. And there it is. It sticks out like a sore thumb, which is beautiful. Because when Fidelity goes in, man, they don't stop. And then the sells. 10, 10, 10. That's good. There's no tens. Okay, so that's Barrick. If we go to Newmont, I'll show you a Newmont. They're, they're not buying Newmont yet. Well, they, they already own it. But they didn't, they, they went in big uh, for Barrick yesterday. You can see this right how here it's set up. You can see this Fidelity. Now, they did at the end of August um, buy 5 million shares of Newmont. They own 23 million now, 2.9%. But bottom line is that it's about time because you remember when Barrick was going down dramatically, the bottom line is that that was them selling in a huge way. And now they're buyers, and we love that. Let's go to uh, Mark in Cheyenne, Wyoming. Mark, what's going on, brother? Hello. Say, Tom, um, I tried to call you yesterday, but I didn't have any service because I was driving out of Yellowstone National Park. <laughs> How cool it was is that? Day, so. Wow, that's, yeah. a, that's a anyway, good day. I, yeah, I'm looking at Harmony, and I'm, I mean, I'm not looking at it. I'm not able to look at it the last couple of days because of service. I'm on vacation. Okay. And so I know it's made, it's gone up a little bit. This is a nice and setup. I'm wondering... This, so, do you it's own nice this right setup. now? I own it, yes. I'm in at 328. Nice, okay. So, what you have there is this the lows $3 for the year, the high $6. They come out with their earnings yep. February 23rd. Now, what happens in the South African companies, folks, they only come out twice a year. It's every six months. That's why the, you see that, that you know, that, that's further away. Uh, that being said, uh, you know, I've been, I've been watching Harmony like a hawk, man. And I was actually going to buy it in the Gold Report this past Monday. It's a nice setup, man. This came, this came off the lows. Here, well, here, let's bring it back a little. You're going to see you came back into the strength going all the way back to the uh, 2020, to June 2020. And you did that. So watch how you did this. Okay, when June 2020, that's when Harmony went from 293 and five weeks later, it's at 761. With volume, mind you. And what's really cool about... Harmony, folks, is that 
when you have a swing point with volume, your probability is much higher that that's exactly where you're going to go back to. Now, what we did, guess what? You came down, you tested that breakout area at 25 million versus 40. Good setup. So you're in good shape here, man. Uh, what I would do, you know, it, what you're looking for now is this. This is on the cusp. Uh, oh, no, it's did it. It's did it. It broke its downtrend. So this baby wants to run to 576, man. Yeah. You yeah, that's what, that's, what I'm, that's what I'm hoping. Yeah. Well, you can see the volume there, right? You, you get action. The thing that's cool here is that you have volume at 576, but then you also get volume at 761. So uh -huh. that's always a nice setup when, when you have something like that. Your, your two major swings have volume. And when you have volume at major swings, folks, okay, they love going back and testing those areas. And particularly because what we had here is this, is that we came down to this strength from 2020. That's when it went higher in an amazing way. Pulls back with tremendously light of volume. That means there's no sellers when it gets back to the breakout and now it starts all over again. You get action, man. And so they are right. looking, and Harmony is going to be looking revenue-wise, folks. They're going to be looking to take in uh, $43.8 billion, and they're going to look to take in uh, $7.30 to the bottom line. So there's, there's some real action there, man. All right. Thank you. I wish I'm jealous, man. I got to... You know, that's one place I've never been. I can't believe I haven't been to the... No kidding. I know. That's crazy, right? It, that doesn't even make any sense. I know. i got to yeah, get there. Between the, te yeah, between the Grand Tetons and the National Park, y yes. You definitely got to You got to get out here one of these years when the... Uh, what is it? The group from Washington comes out to Jackson every year and does their thing. Yeah. i got to go out there yeah. right now. That's what i got to do. You know, <laughs> I, I, you know, it's so funny. I spent a lot of time... I was in the Painted Desert, I was in the Grand Canyon, and I, and I you know, I spent a lot of time there, you know, when I was young, because I, I, I camped yep. a lot. And, you know, when I say a lot of time, I'm talking like, you know, three or four months at a time, folks. And I have no idea why I just never made the Yellowstone, man. It's so weird. I got to make it, man. This is not cool. I mean, Put I... Put it on I, your bucket list. I got it, man, because I, you know, when you watch that National Geographic and you watch Yellowstone, I mean, it's just incredible, man. I mean... Yeah, and you're right there. I'm going to oh, get my hoss. Every time I see Stryer and Wyoming, man, I'm right back to John Wayne. Bang him up. <laughs> well, if, if I ever hear you mention going on vacation to Yellowstone, I'll drive up from Cheyenne to Yellowstone and uh, say hello to you. That would be a beautiful thing. Good. Okay, man. Yeah, we're on. We're Thank on. I'm, I'm, listen, man, I'm going to go. This is the, I, I got to go. <laughs> That, so, so right now is a really nice time, right? The summer's over, and you know, because the, the winter will come in quick there, right? Probably. Yes, I don't know when they close the park down, but it's going to come, you know, fairly soon. Okay. And, but it, right now, right now, the leaves turning and everything—it's gorgeous. Oh, amazing! Cool. All right. Okay, man, you have a great one, safe one. Appreciate the call. Thank you, Tom. Thank you. You gotta love it too, Bye. man. Yeah, you're out in the wilderness, folks. Okay, no calls, no nothing. You're you're right. All that great oxygen coming into your system, feeling good. Oh man, all those animals around you, man. That's it doesn't get any better than that. Let's go take a look at the NQs first. So we take a look at the NQs, and we're at 146. Yeah, this is selling off, man. You, you get we're, we're in a big correction, folks. You're in a bear market, one or the other. Um, this is how these things work, man. They just come out of nowhere. And what we have this morning, you know, you've got you a high volume low that's laying out here at that uh, 859, 14,859. It's probably going for that. Now, if it breaks that, <laughs> get out of the way, man. Uh, because what does happen is that the, the aspect of uh, when you get these downdrafts coming into the close, they can get out of hand because people, well, the computers basically take over, but what also happens is that, you know, you, you definitely have the aspect of um, a lot of money that's been made, and it's like, okay, man, you know, we're closer to the end of the year than we're not. Um, oh, look at this here. You stay right there. We're going to sell off. The S&P just broke. Oh, no, it didn't. There it is. 43.86. Yeah, we're close to it. 43.86, the number, man. Uh, but you have a failure in price and volume, it looks to me, in the S&P as well as the NDX. Come right back. 
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. And Dow. Dow's down up to 347. You get the Nasdaq up 155. S&Ps are up 37. And if we take a look uh, at the, both the SPY as well as the Qs, folks, it looks to me we're going to have a failure on price, failure on volume. Uh, the, the SPY bottom line had a high of 441.68 today. You got over the downdraft at 440.04. You're at 438.62. You've done 62 million shares versus 130. That's saying we're going right back downtown tomorrow. This is going to be an interesting night, man, particularly if they can hold the futures up. I hope they do overnight. <laughs> because I want to sell these again before that jobs number comes out. But bottom line is that you have a failure inside the SPY. If we go take a look at the uh, NDX 100, the three Qs, you're going to have the same setup. Because I believe, yeah, we just come underneath it. So in the Qs, now the Qs, 363.37 was the number. And that's really hard to do, folks, okay? Because the, the differential is that on the SPY, you know, we're talking about the... Uh, trading day of the 28th, because that's where it went, uh, uh, September 28th. And on the uh, Qs, you're talking about the 29th. Okay, so you're talking about a day later in a much lower price. And when you can't even hold that, that's telling you quite a bit, man. I mean, in a big way. So that is saying a couple different things. It's saying, number one, NQ that we very well may have just set up a very large ABC structure on the way down and it would be hard to blow out the the low uh, but the bottom line is that you know you, you got a A to B you get a big A to B point 
If we take a look at the NQs, the A point is at 15,400, and the B is 14,360. So you're talking about, what's that? Oh my God, this, it's almost 1,000 points. That, if it, if it is an ABC down, you could uh, get down to the 14,000 level. 14,000, oh, look at here. Yeah, that's where we're going. 14,000 is where we are broken topside, going all the way back in June. We're go well, that's where we're going, man. This is gonna be an ABC structure down. I love these markets, man. Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out. The bull can run you over. And thank God there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning, folks. Great way to kick off your day. 9 o'clock in the morning. Great show. Have a great one, folks. Have a safe one.